Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I wanted to come out and actually enjoy a day in the park, ride some rides, and also go over some of the huge announcements they just made about this park. A lot of things are coming back, so today seems like a perfect day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a very hot July day today. I think when I checked my phone, it said 94 degrees out. When I got in my car, it said 103 on the dashboard. So it's gonna be a hot one. It's probably gonna be a busy one because like I said, that's two things that go hand in hand in the month of July, busy and hot. I'm gonna try to keep as cool as possible. I got myself a little bandana, but I can feel how hot it is just on my feet. The, the roads here, or like the walkways at Hollywood Studios, are kind of like an asphalt. It's very hot surface. I feel like I can see the heat like kind of coming off them. But take a look up here to the sky, and we've got Donald up there saying hi to everybody. This is great. Now this is the second time I've come to Hollywood Studios and walked in and saw Donald up there. The announcements we heard about Hollywood Studios is the return of two shows coming back to Hollywood Studios, and I'm very excited for one of them. I shouldn't say I'm excited for one of them. I'm excited for both of them, but the magic of Disney's animation returns to Disney's Hollywood Studios on August 1st, and that is the projections on the Chinese theater. If you ever seen that animation projection show that they used to actually play before uh, Star Wars Galactic Spectacular, then that's actually coming back this week. That is exciting news because that means all of the Disney parks will have like some kind of nighttime show. Animal Kingdom does do the Tree of Life Awakening only when it's open late enough. It does close sometimes at 5 or 7, but I have seen it since the return. So this will be the first time I see some kind of nighttime show here at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. The other huge announcement about a show coming back is right down here at the end of Sunset Boulevard. And it's not the thing we're thinking of or the thing we want, but it is a step closer to Fantasmic. Beauty and the Beast live on stage is coming back August 15th. And that is amazing. That is one step closer to Fantasmic. Nothing on Fantasmic yet, but that is one thing I would love to actually see come back. Just to be able to sit down and enjoy a show. And Fantasmic has like a wonderful musical score to it. That is the thing I'm looking forward to most, but nothing yet. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Technically, since they're close to each other, it gives me hopes that Fantasmic will open. And this is a really good show though, honestly. I have come and saw it many of times, and I have even saw when they brought the Grand Floridian Orchestra over here, and they did the Pixar musical. It's still, it's, it's an amazing show, and I'm happy to bring it back. Speaking of shows, the only show that I think is open right now at Hollywood Studios is the Frozen sing-along. And I think maybe I'm gonna do that today. I think I'll head on in there and it's a good way to keep cool and relax and I don't mind it. It actually is a really funny show. You get to sing along and I like the uh, grand finale that they do. So uh, yeah, we're gonna see what the next show time is. Right next to the Chinese theater is the Hyperion, and this is where the Frozen sing-along is going to be taking place. And five minutes till the next show. I think we're going to be able to get in time. I feel like because it's a Frozen attraction, you feel like it's going to be a lot more colder inside there already. Just because you're thinking Frozen ice, and it really does work. It makes you feel like you're cooling down a little bit. Wow, look at how cool it is in here already. Nice, thank you. Looks like we got a full house too. Now I'm sure there's not going to be a lot that I can put in this video because they're going to be singing a lot of the Frozen songs. So I'm not going to. Sh I'm not too sure what I can show you, but I definitely sing along a little. Two for the first time in forever, a Frozen sing along celebration. day because for the first time in well forever Elsa and I are celebrating the Arendelle Festival <laughs> <laughs> You're jumping ahead again. Let's back it up. Here we go. Whoa, buddy. 
Six feet. We can do three now. You know what? For you, <laughs> make it 20. <laughs> All my life has been a series of doors. You. I was thinking the same thing. Cause like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. You have to give it up for the wickedly talented Adele Dazim. It's so fun. And uh, I tried singing as much as I could, only because if I sing, if I sing loud enough, then it won't get uh, copyrighted. So like if my singing is too good, then it's gonna sound just like the music and they'll copyright. So I have to, you know, I can't sing to the best of my, avil like my ability, you know? Or else we, we would get copyrighted. But anywho, now it's time to move along. Now I think we're gonna head on over to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. We're gonna see what the wait time's like. This is one of those rides where you mostly wait outside, so it can be a little bit hot. I see there's a, a pretty long line there, but we'll check it out. It says 55 minutes, but it's 5.15. I think it's gonna move along pretty quick and we're gonna get in, hopefully. I mean, we don't wanna be standing out in the sun too long. I don't know how well this bandana's holding up. I think I stay, I'm staying kind of cool and not so sweaty. So far, so good. I think ultimately we need to bring back the red card system. Does anybody remember the red card system at Disney? How honored you were when they hand you that red card and you were in charge of the posted wait time. It was so powerful. I wish they brought that back. I wish I had one of those. I actually, I don't have one. 527 and we're heading inside that's not too bad now we still got like 20 maybe 30 minutes inside but at least it's inside like that's <laughs> that's the most important part wow not even 45 minutes and here we are this is the best Oh, poor Pluto. Oh. 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 oh, hiya folks. Wanna take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you there. Hello, me. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon wanna fix this here locomotive? Uh, sure, Goofy, I guess I can help you out with that. Thanks, be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. Oh. Oh, we're getting evac Dang it. They're evac in the ride, too. Holy moly. Looks like we're going that way. Looks like Runamuck Park is temporarily shut down. Some people are waiting it out, but they're telling us we have to leave, leave. I think they're evac us out that way. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get a multi-experience pass so that we can ride a different attraction or come back to this one a little bit later on. I mean, I think we're at that point. We're already in the room and past the pre-show, so I think we're in the clear. I think we're going to get our chance. Wow, look at it. It's so cool seeing it like this. We're going to ride Saturday. Promise. Well, there you go. We got a free multi-experience pass, but they're not including Slinky Dog Dash in it. Isn't that a little odd? So you, we can ride any ride in the park except for Slinky Dog and Rise of the Resistance. I definitely feel like Slinky Dog should be on the same level as Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. If you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments. Like, I feel like they're the same tier. Now I think we're gonna head on down to Galaxy's Edge. We do uh, have a Rise of the Resistance boarding group, but backup boarding group, and I think it's at 132, and ours is at 141, so uh, about 10 more to go and two hours in the park. I think it'll happen, unless some major crazy rainstorm or the ride goes down indefinitely for the day. 
fingers crossed. <laughs> it looks like it's actually going pretty quick. It went like from 132 to 136, so we're five away. Might as well hang out in this area because I'm super afraid it might go down. After what just happened with Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I mean, I am super afraid. So if it goes down and we don't get in the queue and it never comes back up, we won't get a return pass. So we're gonna get in as soon as they say 141. I decided to grab myself a thermal detonator, a little Coca-Cola, six credits, not too shabby. It's a good thing to drink while you're waiting for Rise of the Resistance. It is definitely needed on this hot day. I probably would have gotten a water. I never drink soda in the parks, but for some reason these little things really just catch my fancy, so I always end up getting them while I'm down here. And I hope it's going to give me a little boost in caffeine. Alright, it's that time. I'm so excited. I haven't rode Rise of the Resistance probably in a good like three or four months. I know that sounds super like not a long time, but for me it seems like a very long time. I'm really liking these nice little purple flowers in the queue now. Oh, and they have some red ones back there. They're definitely making things pretty over in Batu. The AC inside Rise of the Resistance does not disappoint. Oh, feeling so cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go! the Thank you, Naya. Black Leader, are you and your team ready? <laughs> I still get goosebumps whenever I walk into this room. So amazing, isn't it? Hurry and don't be caught. Return the whole idea. Recruits, 
For your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. What? <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> No trouble. Hey, get off, all right? Wait, get those are the prisoners. <laughs> such a great ride on Rise of the Resistance and I loved all of the different cast members they were so like convincing that I love how they go into full interrogation mode and the guy was just telling us like get inside the jail I don't know it was really cool now I think we're gonna go find somewhere to use our uh, multi-experience pass on the way over to Sunset Boulevard it looks like the goof is out saying hi to everybody look at this the other day I seen goof and Max here I would love to see Max and goof at the same time that's awesome. And whenever he's by water, I wonder if he's gonna do the perfect cast. <laughs> One of my all time favorite movies, a goofy movie, hands down. I feel like instead of hopping back in line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, maybe over to Rock and Roller Coaster, I think that would be a good way to actually use up the pass because I'm afraid the ride's not gonna come back up. It's actually been down, uh, I think, three times today. So uh, it's best to get it to use somewhere, you know? Oh, and just as we're heading over here, it looks like the lights are turning on on sunset. It's so beautiful. Every time I, every time I walk through here at this time, I always say it because it really is just like such an amazing like experience walking down the street, hearing the music, seeing the lights and the Tower of Terror. I really hope if we do end up getting on Rock and Roller Coaster, we get uh, Lovin' and Roller Coaster. You know, they have two different, well, they have one song made just for this attraction where Aerosmith would sing Love in an Elevator. This one would be Love in a Roller Coaster. And that's the one I'm always looking forward to. Luckily, we have Fast Passes because it is a 55 minute wait and it is a long, long wait. Holy moly. I am super happy we have a fast pass or a multi-experience pass. Even the single rider line is backed up a lot. Look at that. And also look at the Breaking Benjamin sign in here. These guys are from my hometown. I know them. Oh, Rock Evolution Tour, Nathan, look at that. That's me, July 21st from Kissimmee. <laughs> hey, Steven, how about some backstage passes? Wait a minute, I love that idea. 
How about some backstage passes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There it goes, and soon our super stretch limo should be coming right on in. There it is. Don't be nervous. <laughs> this is one you definitely best remove them. <laughs> Got Steven Tyler's hat. Okay, LA, crank it up, because we're getting ready to rock on this exclusive live broadcast. I'll tell you when it's about to go, and unless you remember. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Well, we just getting started. Oh, boy. an adrenaline rush. Oh, I love it. And I love these lights. This place looks nice. Oh, we go. A little hat trick, maybe. We'll see you next tour. Magic. On the way out, take a look at this really cool hidden Mickey made of guitar picks. Fancy. I think that was a good use of a multi-experience pass. I was actually with some friends from out of town, and it was a nice family, and they did Tower of Terror earlier, so I would have used it for Tower of Terror if I didn't actually, uh, like if they didn't do it beforehand, but they didn't do Rock and Roller Coaster, so, you know, it, it, it seemed like it was better for them. On our way in today, Donald was saying hi, and now it looks like Minnie's saying goodbye to everybody. So we see Donald, Goofy, and Minnie all in one day, not on cavalcades. So it's really nice to be able to see characters out and about in the parks again. So have a good night, Minnie. And with that, I think I am done here today. What a fun, amazing day, super hot, and I think the headband worked out perfectly. You know, I wear these for doors, and some of them are uh, like 90% paper, so they deteriorate real quickly, and uh, I took the headband off at the end of the day, and like I could feel like a little bit of a hotness and sweatiness, but the headband overall, I think I'm gonna keep wearing it. I hope it doesn't look doofy, but it definitely does its purpose. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.